Welcome to Nadashi Science, where our goal is to make science simple. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more helpful science content. Graphing motion can be tricky at first, but once you understand it, it is very easy and you're able to determine a lot of information about the motion of an object. In this video, we are going to cover all the information you can learn from a distance versus time graph and how to use the graph to describe an object's motion. In order to easily interpret a distance versus time graph, there are a few concepts you need to remember. Distance and displacement, speed and velocity, and speed and velocity calculations. If you do not remember this information or need a refresher, please check out our video on all of these topics. When looking at a distance versus time motion graph, there are two things that are important to consider. They are the slope of the line and the direction of the line. The slope of the line will tell you the speed of the object, while the direction of the line will tell you the direction the object is moving. Let's look at both of these in more detail. Slope is just a measure of the steepness of a line. We can calculate the slope by finding rise over run, or looking at the change in y over the change in x. The slope can either be constant or changing. If the slope is constant, meaning we have a straight line, that means the speed is constant like we see in the graph here on the left. If the slope is changing, meaning we have a curved line, then that means the speed is changing. This means the object is either speeding up or slowing down as seen here in the graphs on the right. The steeper the line is, the faster the object is moving. So in the graph here, A would be moving the fastest and C would be moving the slowest. Looking at the direction of the line, we can learn more about the direction the object is traveling. If the line has a positive slope, meaning it is pointed up, that means the object is moving away. If the line has a negative slope, meaning it is pointed down, that means the object is moving back towards the start. And if the line is flat, that means the object is not moving. So now let's look at a few examples of different graphs that we might see. So in this graph, we can see four different lines. Again, reminding us that the shape of the line and direction of the line can help us understand what's going on. The two straight lines represent fast or slow. These are moving at a constant speed because they are straight lines. The fast line is moving faster than the slow line because it has a steeper slope. You look at the lines for speeding up and slowing down, and we can see that these are curved lines. The speeding up line is a curved line pointed up, while the slowing down line is a curved line that is flattening out. This last graph is a good graph that kind of wraps everything together. We see a straight line in the red line that represents a fast, steady, or constant speed. It's a constant speed because it is a straight line. The purple line we see is a curved line pointed up, which means that the object is getting faster or that the object is speeding up. So this is not moving at a constant speed. And in the green line, we see that it starts with a steady speed. So the straight line pointed up at the beginning represents a constant speed moving away. Then we see that the line flattens out, which means it's stationary or the object is not moving. And then the line changes to be pointed down. It's a straight line pointed down. So we know that that means a constant speed returning to the start. Now you know how to use a distance versus time graph to describe the motion of an object. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel so we can be able to produce more helpful science content. If there's a specific topic you need help with, please let us know in the comments.